Hey guys, Alan here, 79 Woodworks. Got another episode for you, and today we're going to talk drills. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a tool review. Uh, I am going to throw in a cutting option in there just because it came with a combo kit. Uh, but uh, hopefully this will be helpful to y'all. Um, I've got several different ones that I'm going to show and uh, let you know what I think about them and uh, how long I've had them. So first, let me show you what we're dealing with. All right, so here is the drills. Now, I'm not paid or sponsored by any of these brands. The, I bought all these with my own money, and I'm just giving you my review of these tools since I've had them. Now, I will say this Porter Cable right here I bought probably close to going on 17 years ago and it's an 18 volt and this has been a very fantastic drill. Uh, I got it at Home Depot. They had it on sale for $99. It came with the drill, two batteries, and a, a charger and a hard case to go in. Um, one of the batteries played out on me probably about a year ago. So this is the only battery I got left that works, which this one I believe is getting close because it will not hold a charge uh, for super long. You can charge it up and a couple days later you can come back out and it'll be, it'll be down. But overall, it, I got my money's worth out of it plus and it, it, it still works. I still use it from time to time. Very good uh, drill. Uh, we'll skip over here. This is a drill master. This is a Harbor Freight, Freight drill. Came with a battery, a charger, and the drill itself. I think it was like twenty bucks. Uh, if you're and it's not a bad little drill to be honest. I mean, if you're just needing a, a good drill, it's an eighteen volt too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, works really good. It's got the clutch adjustments on it. Uh, it's not a bad drill for the money, really. Alright, now this. Heart impact driver, drill driver, and then circular saw. Now this is not the brushless ones, um, but this is the, I've had this set here. Uh, all three came in a combo kit plus a 50 piece bit set. I got it on special over a year ago for $148 on uh, walmart.com. Um, I have used these uh, and they have, they've done me good. I have not complained about one bit. Um, could they have a little more power? Sure. Uh, some of your other brands will probably have a little bit more power to them. Uh, the brushless ones will have more power just because of the nature of the type of motor that's in it. Um, brushless gives you a little bit more power and a little bit better battery life, but these work great. Uh, I have no issues. It's got a little light right there. Forward, reverse. Uh, it's got the quick connect chuck on it where you can connect whatever uh, bit you want that has the uh, quick connect um, end. Good good dr uh, impact driver. Drill driver, same deal, forward, back. Clutch adjustments also. Has a one stage and a two stage. your speeds these are 20 volt uh, oh also the set came with the two batteries and a charger also now I would recommend if you buy any of these heart brand sets um, that you if you're gonna be using them consistently um, throughout the day I would recommend getting um, a bigger battery like a four amp hour uh, and then I would get the fast charger uh, they do make a fast charger where it will 
it will charge a two amp hour battery in under an hour. I uh, highly recommend that. The charger that comes with these sets, it takes forever to charge the batteries. And that's really my only complaint uh, that I have. The skill saw, uh, very nice. It's got a uh, dust extraction here. You can hook up a shop vac or a dust extractor or something right here. Uh, it does have a bevel adjustments. You can go up to 56 degree bevel, which is very nice. This one's got the seven and a half inch blade on it. Um, it comes with a 20, 24 tooth blade, uh, but I bought a uh, 40 tooth to go on it. Cuts a lot better. Um, no, I'm sorry, told you wrong. This is the 24 uh, tooth. Um, the, four, the 40 tooth I bought for something else, which I'll do that in a separate video. Uh, I do apologize for that. It's got safety here. That has to be depressed before the trigger can be depressed. Battery goes in right there. Very good. I have used this circular saw a lot. Uh, it cuts very well through quarter inch and half inch uh, plywood and um, one by boards very well. Uh, I've also used it on two by material and it cuts through it. Uh, I do recommend, like I said, the, using the bigger battery if you're going to be cutting thicker stuff with it. Because uh, them one amp hours that come with it, they just don't last long if you're cutting heavy material. But... I don't recommend cutting a lot of two by or bigger material with this saw a lot just because uh, it can get bound up quick, but it will cut through it. Uh, I've used it several times. Uh, as a matter of fact, this uh, kind of tabletop you see behind here, uh, when I put it together and made it, I actually used this saw to trim the edges. Uh, so it worked very well. But, alright, so. Do I think they're worth the money? Uh, yes, I believe they're they're definitely worth the money. It was definitely worth the $148 that I paid for them. Um, I would recommend Heart Brand. Um, I've got some other Heart Brand stuff. Um, I've got a blower, a uh, leaf blower. Uh, it works really well. No issues with it. Uh, it actually comes with a two amp hour battery. Um, now it doesn't last very long, but it does long enough for me to do uh, my driveway and a back patio and sidewalk. Um, so, I mean, it, it'll last a good bit. Um, but as far as the drills and stuff, I do recommend them. Now, that's not to say that some people's had issues with them. You're probably going to, but that's going to be with anything you buy. Anything you get, you're going to have an issue at some point in time. Uh, it doesn't matter how, how top brand it is. I mean, there's always a chance you're going to take uh, that something could happen. Uh, the Drill Master from the Harbor Freight for 20 bucks, I believe it's worth it. Uh, like I said, if you're not looking for anything with uh, adjustments other than the clutch adjustments or speed adjustment, you just need a drill just to, to drill some holes, this might be the way to go. Um, they may be a little bit more than that now. I think when I bought it, it was 20, they were like $19.99. You could use the 20% off coupon they send you in the mail. Uh, I think they're a little, they may be a little more now. But still, even at that, if you just need a regular, just a drill, just for odd and end use, it also has a light on it, um, I highly recommend it. As a matter of fact, since I got these other sets, I actually gave that one to my son because uh, he needed one. Uh, the Porter Cable, I don't know about their new stuff. Like I said, I bought that one. I bought this one going on 17 years ago. Uh it's been a 
awesome drill. I mean, just absolutely fantastic. Um, so I highly recommend Porter Cable. Like I said, I, this is the only really thing that I've used of theirs. I do have a Porter Cable cordless multi-tool. Uh, I haven't used it a whole lot, but I have used it some, and it's worked very well also. So uh, can't go wrong with Porter Cable. Um, yeah, so in woodworking, there are some things to keep in mind. And anybody can woodwork, okay? Anybody can do it. You just got to take your time, and you just got to apply. You just got to try. So, uh, good YouTube channel to watch. Uh, he's got some good um, build um, videos. Is a 731 word, Woodworks, uh, Matt over there, Matt Outlaw. Uh, he does, uh, he's got several videos and his thing is, and it's true, anybody can woodwork and you're thinking, well, I don't have the tools. Well, borrow some tools. All you have to have is a way to cut the wood, a saw, uh, a cordless saw, a corded saw, a hand saw. It doesn't matter. You just need a way to cut the wood. And a way to put it together. That's all you need. Um, now, does it help having some of the other stuff? Sure, it makes your life a lot easier. Table saw, planer, joiner. I mean, is it necessary? No. You can make some fantastic projects just with a saw and a, and a drill. Uh, outdoor furniture. You don't need anything fancy for all that. It's. I mean, it's going outside. You're going to put it together put some cushions on it and and enjoy it so uh anybody can do it uh i have faith that you, that you can um i never really would worked until uh several years ago uh kind of got into it making some shelves for in the garage and just things of that nature uh but i really didn't get serious about it until here in the last two or three years i guess you'd say uh, I really wanted it something that I enjoyed doing. Uh, I felt like it was stuff that I could do, uh, and I and I wanted to I wanted to do it. It's relaxing to me. Uh, you know, it's kind of like therapy. Uh, some people work out, some people run, some people jog, some people meditate, and some people woodwork. You know, it's just whatever calms you down and de-stresses you. Uh, and woodworking is is definitely that for me uh, i enjoy taking pieces of wood and turning them into something beautiful that can be shared by others or or myself um, and, and that's what it's all about you know just visualizing or even taking something that somebody else has done and then make putting your own spin onto it uh, so anyways back to the whole drill so that combo with the the drill driver the impact driver and the circular saw and then of course the batteries and the charger uh 148 you can't beat that and if you're getting into woodworking or if you just need drills and a saw for occasional stuff around the house i highly recommend um i've used these like i said over a year now I haven't had any issues, uh, like I said, other than the battery life. Uh, but I've used I've used these to drill holes. Uh, I've used them to joint using pocket holes. Um, I just use them for everything uh, in my woodworking and around the house. Uh, very good tools to have around. Uh, I recommend anybody have a cordless drill handy. Um, there's just so much you can do with them. So anyways, uh, I'll get a drill bit. Well, I think I put drill bit up. Hold on just a second. All right, so I'm back. So this is the actual set that came with that set. Now, I think this was just a special that they did. Uh, those combo sets usually don't come with these, but you do find some occasionally that will come with a bit set. 
if, if they do um, for the same price without it, I'd highly recommend getting it because that's, that's a good deal. Because these sets right here alone are usually like, I don't know, around 20 something dollars or, or more, just depending on what piece you get. Uh, highly recommend doing that. And that way it gets you started and it gets you some stuff going and you don't have to buy this and buy that. And, you know, before you know it, you didn't spend a ton of money having to buy everything. So I'm going to put a drill bit in this. And it works like most any other drill. And now it's locked in. So we're going to take, let's see if I can get this to where y'all can see. All right, so here we got our sacrificial block of wood. And take the drill. And I've got it set on 16. Uh, you can set it according to whatever tolerance you need it to be at, or you can just set it straight to drill. I think we'll do that for this purpose right here. As you see, it drills in very well, and, well, I apologize, guys. I don't have a, a stand or anything to demonstrate these stuff, and I hope to get some soon, so just bear with me on these videos. I know it ain't what y'all are used to probably seeing, but that's where I'm at with everything. This is a new channel, and I'm trying to get it going, so... Uh, please help me out by liking and subscribing, uh, and that'll help me get closer to making uh, better videos and uh, better content. All right, so we're going to drill it back out. There we go. And it's out. Works, works great. Got no complaints whatsoever. Um, what I was telling you, so some of the bits that come with the set or any of the others, they had the quick connect right here and you can use that for your choke on on the impact driver just pull it snap it in and it locks and you're good to go now i have not tried this personally but i've watched some video other videos on youtube and apparently these things even though they're meant for you know just doing stuff in in wood and things like that uh these are powerful enough to take off lug nuts off a car uh now i have not tried it with mine uh and that's not to say that i wouldn't but i've just not i've just not done that uh if i was going to do that i probably wouldn't recommend it doing it with with the regular one i would probably get the one that's brushless I would probably do it with that one instead because, uh, like I said, you get more uh, power uh, out of the brushless ones. Uh, the circular saw, I'll demonstrate it real quick. Um, you, and see, and that's the other beauty about this 20 volt system. And they also have a 40 volt system as well. Uh, and all the batteries interchange. Uh, all the 20 volt batteries will interchange with the 20 volt tools and then all the 40 volt batteries will interchange with all the 40 volt tools. So you ain't got to, you know, get separate batteries for separate things. You can just pop them right, right in as you need them. And I've had to do that quite often. I'll be using the saw and then I'll have to go right back to the drill and I just change the batteries out and go on my way. Uh, let's see if I can turn this to where you can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, I believe that works right there. All right, so this is a piece of um, one by six, I believe. Uh, it's been cut down a little bit, but uh, we're going to demonstrate the saws power on this so I'm gonna get a clamp uh, also recommend these DeWalt uh, hand clamps uh, I've had these for probably 
Uh, let's see, for probably close to 10 years, uh, I've got two, two just like this, um, and they work great. Uh, they're about, I think they're roughly 30 something dollars a piece. Um, but they are highly worth it. Once you squeeze it and it clamps down, it, it's locked in. It's not going nowhere. Um, and it's like having a, a third or fourth pair of hands. Uh, these are very, very handy to have. All right, so I'm gonna clamp this down right here on the edge. All right, let's see if I can move it a little where y'all can see. All right, so it's clamped down, and I'm just gonna trim off this edge right, this edge right here. Oop, almost forgot. Anytime you use your power tools, make sure you have your safety glasses. cut right there now I didn't cut it straight but see it, it works very well on, uh, on wood like that and like I said I have used it to cut some two by material as well and didn't have any issues with that either you just have to kind of go slow on the two by material because if you don't uh, it will it'll put too much tension on the blade when you get about a quarter to halfway through and it will um, bind up on you. But if you take your time and go kind of slow, you'll have, you'll have no issues. Uh, I would though, I would recommend if you are woodworking, the 24 tooth blade that comes with it will get you by and it is fine, but I would recommend getting a 40 to possibly even a 60 tooth blade. Um, it'll make the cuts a little finer a little smoother on the edges and uh, give you a little less tear out uh, <clears throat> but yeah guys I mean other than that this is uh highly recommend any one of these tools um, heart brand uh, is sold exclusively to Walmart uh, but you can find them you can get most anything on walmart.com um, heart makes a lot of uh, a lot of different tool um, cordless power tools uh the company that own that that manufactures heart as a matter of fact is the same company that that makes uh rigid and ryobi and uh, i believe milwaukee uh so it's the the heart's probably the lower line of their line of tools if you look at you know how the progression of the tools are uh, as far as like just the DIYer, uh, the professional grade and things of that nature. Uh, but I mean, if you're just a DIYer and, um, uh, you just need, um, stuff to, to make things on the weekends or things like that, I, I recommend them. Uh, I've, I'm going to do another video. I've got a heart brand, uh, miter saw, 10 inch, uh, compound miter saw, um, I was highly impressed with it. Uh, that'll be another video. I'll do a video on that as well. Uh, but like I said, I'm not sponsored by Heart. Uh, this is just uh, my personal review of using the tools. Uh, I, as a matter of fact, I even got a Heart 16-foot uh, um, tape measure. Um, if you're, especially if you're woodworking, like just m making furniture and things like that, 16 foot's all you need. Uh, if you're measuring stuff beyond 16 foot, then you're making stuff way bigger than, than just the general DIY. Uh, I like this one because when you pull it out, it, it locks wherever you put it. And then you just press this button here and it brings it right back in very handy uh i use this all the time also has a belt clip and you can put it on your belt and the other thing i like about this one if you can see it's got all your little bitty measurements as well 
very very nice very handy especially if you don't know how to figure all these up man i'll just be honest math was not my strong suit uh but this helps me out a lot uh there are some other tape measures you can get uh this it's not the heart brand but there are some other brands uh if you can find them where it'll actually have them marked on both sides so no matter which way you're measuring from you'll be able to see them um but yeah uh like I said, I have no, no issues with Heart Brand stuff. Uh, will I continue to buy the Heart Brand products? I'm sure that I will. There's a few other things that I wouldn't mind uh, having and giving a try. Uh, they make a bench grinder uh, that I wouldn't mind having. Uh, and uh, a reciprocating saw. They have a cordless reciprocating saw. I wouldn't mind giving a, a go. Uh, but, you know... Is this going to be the platform that I continue with? I don't know. It just depends on how everything goes. Um, I'm hoping as my channel progresses and as my woodworking projects progress, uh, as I sell more stuff and uh, put more money back into my business, uh, you know, I may expand up. I do have a couple of Ryobi uh, tools. I may expand up into the Ryobi line. They have a lot of stuff. Um, or I may even step up maybe into the rigid, or I may just go straight into maybe Milwaukee or something. Uh, I do like DeWalt tools, um, but for me, at the stage that I'm at now, DeWalt's a little pricey. Um, I just can't see paying a lot of their prices. Um, but you know, Hey, everybody each his own as their quality there. Yes, their quality is there. And, uh, is it worth the money that you pay for? Uh, probably to a degree, I believe so. Uh, but I feel like though, in some of these other brands at a cheaper price, you can still get just as good a quality. So, you know, it's kind of a personal preference. I believe when it, to a certain point, uh, when you get to a certain point, it's kind of personal preference and what you feel you're getting the best quality out of. Um, but, you know, hey, everybody has their own opinions. I'm just giving you mine on these. Um, do I recommend any one of these I've showed you? Yes, I recommend. Um, but if you are getting into the woodworking uh, business or whatever, or, you know, on the side... I would recommend a heart brand combo kit. That way you have a way to cut and you also have a way to put together. Uh, if you don't have any tools and you're just starting out. Uh, but beyond that, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you for all that you do. Again, please hit that like button, subscribe button, and uh, help me out. And uh, we'll see you again on the next one.